Hey guys, Big Flip here. This video is on the eight real, the half real, um, all from the El Cazador shipwreck. This is an eight real that you see here, or they call it pieces of eight. This is the half real from um, the El Cazador shipwreck, and they call it a one bit. The two pillars there um, uh, represent the two worlds, and on the front is the Spanish crest. This is, uh, I think his name is George the Third or something like the Charles the Third. So that's Charles the Third, and the shipwreck was in 1784. This is a 1783 eight real. The, I don't know the grade of this one. The reason they call them shipwreck coins is because they're not gradable. Um, coins that are in clusters, and when they come up off the floor and they're clustered up, they're much better coin than one that was floating free down there and rubbing on other coins and moved around so as you can see they kind of get slicked up especially on the back this one's really slicked up and then this one is also now remember this ship the El Cazador was coming from Veracruz going to Louisiana uh, it is class it's called the uh, shipwreck that changed the world reason being there was about 450,000 silver coins that were coming to the America and um, it was they were it was coming there to uh, purchase Louisiana Louisiana purchase had Spain pulled this off and not lost these coins I think our country would be way different than it is now matter of fact it would probably be half the size and Spain would own the other half so France ended up buying it and then we ended up with the United States as it is today but they do classify um, like shipwreck coins as like the shipwreck effect so they don't really grade them it's just they they just certify that they're genuine so here's two genuines um that is the eight that is the half and that is the eight so to get back to um el cazador el cazador was found by a trawler off of louisiana about 50 miles and it was found by a jerry murphy and the name of his boat was The Mistake. Kind of ironic, but. Um, so they ended up, he ended up dragging some of that silver up in a net, and then he ended up um, claiming the shipwreck and then getting um, a couple companies to come out and uh, work the shipwreck and pull up as much silver as he could. It took a couple years to bring it all up. Um, 450,000 silver coins is about 5.5 tons of silver. If you look at the old ships, they have big bellies on them. They're not made for going fast. They're made for moving big bulk. It's like, um, you know, your, your today Dodge truck to a, a big rig that's running across the country. The Dodge truck cuts the wind. Well, the big rig doesn't. And the big bellies were all awesome um, ships for moving big big weight so what they used to do is if they didn't have a ballast in the ship like they weren't moving something they would fill it full of cobblestones these cobblestones would go to the next port if they filled up with um, goods in that port they would pull the cobblestones off otherwise these ships would just fall over in the wind so that's why you have cobblestone roads in some of these you know um, these port towns like San Francisco used to be all cobblestones. I don't know what it is today. I left about 28 years ago, but um, you could still find cobblestones. We went down to um, Puerto Vallarta down there, and they have a couple of real nice cobblestone areas there from um, ships that would come in back in the day. So when you see cobblestones, you think, man, that's a lot of work to, um, to make a road. Well, it's because they had plenty of them. So this was just a heads up. Um, had the El Cazador made it to its destination, our country would be a totally different country. Hence, El Cazador shipwreck that changed the world. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing two or three or four videos a week now on coins. I'm trying to get my channel built up here so that we can um, we can do a lot of these coin and you know numismatic videos and things like that so uh, I just wanted to let you know I thank you each and every one of you for coming into my live streams which is Friday um, Sunday and Monday nights at 7 mountain time and um, I have some great moderators over there I have um, a great crowd that comes in my channel is really building up speed so I appreciate each and every one of you for coming in and 
until I see you again, um, please be safe. Do something nice for somebody. Pay it forward every chance you get, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.